Good morning, Mrs. Critchley's group, and welcome to your Friday spelling lesson. I'm going to share my screen and let's get started. But before I want to say that I have set up an assignment for today's spelling lesson. It's just a blank word document for you to, when you go on it, to just do all your sentences and stuff on there. And then we can view it rather than you having to email it us. It's just all in one place then. OK, right, let's get started. OK, so today we're going to be looking at adding to words a full or a less suffix, okay? So add into words the, the suffix full or the suffix less, and we're gonna be looking at what we have to do in certain situations, including after a Y. So let's have a go. So suffixes are added to the end of a root word. So full is a suffix and it means full of. So if we say it's colourful, it means it's full of colour. So the rainbow is colourful, it's full to the brim, full up of colours. Less means without or none or whatever. So useless means without use, it's useless. So we would say maybe a chocolate teapot would be useless because it's a teapot made of chocolate. So as soon as you put hot water into it, it would melt. So it's useless, okay? It has no use, it's not very good, okay? So for root words ending in Y, remember we have to think about do we change it or do we keep it? So we usually change it, a Y to an I, but if there is a vowel before the Y, we keep it. So joyless doesn't become joyless like that because it's the O, it's got a vowel before it and they're part of a diagraph together. They're part of the diagraph OI. And if you remember from earlier in the week, also when we add ing to words, there are very few words where we drop the Y then as well, because then it would be that double I and it wouldn't make sense. Okay? Right, so it, remember, if it ends in Y, you either change it or you keep it. So these words have had less or full added to them. What would these say without the full or less suffix? So have a go now at um, pausing the screen and writing down what the root words would be before we added full or less. Off you go. Okay, well done. So let's go quickly through them. So endless would have been end merciful would have been mercy and that y i would have been a y so we just spelt mercy like this m e r c y that's what it would have been before useful would have been use and that stayed exactly the same mindful would have been mind and that stayed the same helpless would have been help and that stayed the same and playful would have been play and that stayed the same because look we didn't change the y because it's part of that diagraph and it's got a vowel before it Okay, so to these words, you've got to add the word full or less to the root word. So have a go. Does it make sense with a full or does it make sense with a less? Is it a word you've heard of, a word that sounds right? And then think, if it ends in a Y, do we need to change it or keep it? Off you go, pause the screen and have a go now. Okay, well done. So the first word should be homeless. Home full doesn't make sense, full of home, but homeless means without a home, no home. So somebody, somebody that's living on the street, who doesn't have a house, would say they are homeless. And we don't have to do anything, we just add less. Playful or play less. Play less isn't really a word. You might say you need to play less, but we wouldn't put play less together as a word. So playful. The puppy was playful. And because my Y is after a vowel and they're part of a diagraph, we keep it and we put playful. Useful can be what we could put here, or we could even put useless, because both of those make sense. And the last one would be spotless, no spots anywhere. So we'd say the house is, oh, I'll read this up a little bit. We'd say the house is spotless. There's no spots of dirt or anything around. And again, we don't have to change anything. Right, let's carry on. So the next one, you're gonna have a go at adding meant or nest to the suffix, to the root word, okay? Okay. No, you're not. They, they, we've got something wrong here. So it should be, we're gonna add less 
sorry, Yitty, or full. We'll carry on. We're just like the ones we're looking at today. So it's less or full to these root words. We're not doing men to nest. I don't know why it said that. So we're doing less or full. We're adding less or full again to these words, okay? So we've got speech, care, penny, and delight. So have a go at adding to these words. We're going to put less, full to these words, and what are they going to do? And if they end in a Y, what are we going to do? Off you go. Pause the screen and have a go. Okay, fantastic. So let's start with the word speech. It's going to become speechless. Okay, so no, when someone is speechless, they have no speech. So they went to a surprise party and got overwhelmed. It would be fair. We have no speech, completely no voice gone because I so don't know what to say. Careful means full of care, but we can also have careless. And we can less, and we can describe someone as careless when they don't give any care about anything. So someone could be careless with their work, or they can be careful with their work. They can give it care. Well, they could not give it care. Pennyless. So we are going to change the Y because it's not part of a diagraph and it's not after a vowel. And we're going to put an I in there. And then we're going to add less. OK. And the last word is going to be delightful. And we're going to put full on the end. OK. Well done. Right. And the last one, we're going to have a look together. And again, it shouldn't say meant or less. It should say full or less. OK, is it full of something or does it not have any of it at all? And let's carry on. So we've got point, joy, beauty and pain. How are we going to what we're going to add to the end of these words? Are we going to add? Um, are we going to put both of them in there or are we just going to do one? Off you go. OK, fantastic. So the first one is going to be pointless. No point to it. So it'll be pointless um, doing something if I've already done it or it was pointless doing that because it rained. So it's pointless that I made that I cleaned that uh, that I um, mowed the lawn because the next day it rained and everything got wet or it was pointless that I um, cleaned the drive because the next day it snowed. Joyful we can have. Let's see if we can have joyless. Can we have joyless? Yes. Also, we can have joyless. So I think it was joyless. There was no joy to be found from it, or it was full of joy. Beauty. Now, we've got a Y at the end, and it doesn't follow a vowel, and it's not part of the diagraph. So we change it to an I, and we make it beautiful. Full of beauty. And the last one, we can make it pet. Something can be painful. Full of pain. So my leg really hurt. It was painful. Or we can have a go. Let's see if we can make pain less. OK, no pain at all. It was without pain. So some of those words, we can use them for full and we can use them for less. So here are some words that follow the less pattern. And here are some words that follow the full pattern. And many words that like we've talked about can take on many different suffixes. And some of these root words can also take on several su suffixes at the same time. So peacefulness, carelessness, it then becomes a ness. OK, something that somebody is full of, something that somebody has. OK. And some root words with one syllable keep the Y before a suffix, so like shy or dry, even though they're not part, they haven't got a vowel before them and they're not part of a diagraph, they do keep their Ys. There are some exceptions. But go on to Teams now, check out your assignment and you can write me some sentences using full and less words. Bye for now.